my name is Cassia and I'm from the Seattle area. My family and I attend a local church here, but in addition, my husband and I really enjoy watching Pastor Vlad's sermons on YouTube as we find a lot of wisdom and encouragement through them. So a couple of Sundays ago, we were listening to a sermon and there was a call for prayer at the end. And I decided to join in and pray for healing of the pain that I was experiencing in my back. So I prayed with faith and the next morning when I woke up, there was no more pain. I tried moving my back in different positions, trying to find that pain and to this day, I can't find it. It's not there. Praise God. And a few years back when I lived back in Sacramento, uh, Pastor Vlad came down with the Hungry Generation team to take part in our youth conference. And there was also a call for prayer of healing. So a little backstory is I had acquired pain in my wrist from a childhood injury, which was prohibiting me from being able to fully utilize my right hand. I went in to see doctors for numerous treatments and procedures. Nothing was successful. So I prayed with Pastor Vlad at the conference and believe it or not, ever since that day, ever since that prayer, I have never had an issue with my wrist. And I just wanted to say that I'm so thankful that God sent the Hungry Generation team to the youth conference at that time and for the online sermons that we're able to listen to now. Prayer, um, and it was time for prayer. I wanted to tune in because I had a pain on my shoulder. I've been having this pain for like two or three weeks. It's been hard. I couldn't lift up my hand, especially to wash it. And when I tuned in, I felt a creak on my back when I was lifting my head to receive my healing, I felt a creak on my back and I checked myself and the pain was completely gone. It was completely gone and I was good. I was well. I can lift up my hand. I can worship now freely and thank the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You can also receive your healing too online in Jesus name. Thank you. God bless you, Hungry Generation. Uh, my name is Natalie, and this is my testimony. So recently, I was going through a tough time in my relationship with the Lord. Um, I was constantly doubting in Him. I feared a lot. I didn't trust Him. I felt guilty for everything. I felt like everything that I did, I felt like God was going to punish me. And I didn't like feeling like that. And honestly, that affected my relationship with Him a lot um, in regards to praying and reading the Bible and fasting, there'd be moments where I felt scared to read the Bible because I felt like I felt judged. And I was so scared of the coming of the Lord because I felt like I was going to stay and I didn't want to feel that way. And so um, I started asking the Lord. I felt in prayer to ask him to break any false concepts I had about him in my mind. I didn't want to think of him in, in that way. I didn't want to fear. I didn't want to feel like, you know, if Jesus came that I was going to stay. I didn't, I didn't like feeling that way. And so I started praying to the Lord to break any false concepts that I had about him in my mind, any traditional thinking, anything that I've heard in theologies that has um, distorted my, my, um, my perspective of him. And I started asking him that I wanted to know him. And so he started ministering to me to watch um, Spiritual Warfare, um, host the Holy Ghost, um, and then I started watching the Holy Spirit conferences, and literally, it made a, like, the Holy Spirit used all of these videos to do, like, a whole revolution in my life, in my spiritual life, and every aspect, and now I pray so much differently. Now, I don't see prayer as work, as hard work. I actually enjoy praying more now. Um, I look forward to it. I love it. I don't feel judged anymore. I actually feel loved by God. And um, I don't feel scared to read the Bible anymore. I actually feel so much love. I, f I feel like I'm falling in love with Jesus every time that I read the Bible. And now I feel closer to the Holy Spirit because I didn't see the Holy Spirit as a friend. I didn't value him how he, he deserved to be. He deserves to be valued. And honestly, I feel so much like like a whole revolution. And I want to thank God for using you guys to minister me through these videos. God bless you. I'm from New Jersey, so you guys are ministering people all the way in here in New Jersey. Um, God bless you. And keep looking for God.
He's the best. Hi guys. Um, my name is Janara. I'm from Renton, Washington, and um, I have I have been having uh, ear infections since uh, the end of February this year, and. I was watching on the 9th of March uh, the online service and Pastor Vlad was praying for healing and he mentioned ear infection. So I understood that it's for me and since that time I'm healed. So And also because of that problem, I had dizziness and it's also gone. So I'm really thankful to Jesus and um, to Hungry Gen Church. Bye. Hi, my name's Heather, and I just had a quick testimony I wanted to share with you guys. Uh, about six months ago, my husband and I came from Ellensburg to visit Hungry Gin, and after the service, Pastor Vlad and his wife prayed for me, and when his wife prayed, she came up and asked if she could pray for me, and she pressed her hand on my stomach firmly and prayed in tongues, and it was like knowingly she knew to pray for my stomach, and that's really sparked my interest because I've struggled with stomach problems for a long time. And about five years ago, I was taken to the ER for vomiting blood and they did a stomach biopsy on me and the biopsy revealed intestinal metaplasia, H. pylori, and some precancer cells and just a lot of not good things. And H. pylori causes stomach cancer and intestinal metaplasia, it's a bacteria that some people have in their stomach. And it's really hard to treat. It's three different antibiotics, sometimes several courses, and even then, sometimes it doesn't go away. And it wreaks havoc on your body. So I didn't. I never got it treated due to rough circumstances in my life at the time. And over the next five years, I was constantly in pain in my stomach. I had many ulcers and chronic gastritis and just a lot of stomach problems and pain. And when I came home from the service, it actually intensified, it got worse and it concerned me. And so I set up an appointment for another biopsy to get screened for cancer. And that was about a three month wait. And during that three months, my husband's mother, who's a great woman of prayer and faith, uh, suggested I take some natural supplements and uh, she's very led and I felt very led by the Holy Spirit as she was talking to me and I did some research and tried a few natural things and uh, about a month later the pain stopped and it stayed stopped all the way until my biopsy which is not normal for me and when I got my biopsy the doctor came back with a photograph of my stomach and it was bright healthy pink and just looked great and I knew I knew everything was better I knew God had a miracle and a week later I got a call that there was no H. pylori in my stomach and no intestinal metaplasia no cancer no precancer nothing it was gone and those things just they don't go away on their own and I know it's a miracle from God and I just wanted to share that with you guys because sometimes we pray for things or we come places expecting and we don't get answers right away and it can be hard on our faith. And I just wanted to encourage people not to lose faith, not to give up because God has his own timing and he always hears our prayers and he just works in so many different ways. And so I just wanted to share that story with you guys. God bless you. Thank you.